All right, guys, we are back at the title company. Last time I came to pick up a pretty nice check, but this time I'm here to drop off some money, earn this money, so I can try to pick up another rental property. I kind of talked about in the last video how I am trying to create more cash flow, passive income that I don't have to keep working for. So we're on that path right now. This is a really nice house that I got and decided I don't want the big chunk of cash off of this one. I want that consistent monthly money that I can just sit back and collect in my bank account. So let's go ahead and make this one happen. Right, guys i'm out with another envelope in hand and i'm about to uh make another payment to one of my private lenders so one way that i'm able to take on multiple projects now and i've talked about this before is just using private lenders this particular private lender i've got close to 400k close to 400k that's being loaned to me with my monthly payments i'm right at about right under around four grand just with this lender but the numbers work out i can get the money quick get in get my projects done easier than working with a bank because i can get my money within a few days much higher interest rate but that's the reason why i just don't hold on to those types of um loans for too long so yeah i gotta make sure i keep my my private lenders paid and happy but now i'm about to go and check out another one that me and a partner are trying to pick up for a fix and flip and just kind of talk about that one all right guys we're at the next one now that i um currently have in escrow trying to pick up and before it was just going to be a situation where we were just going to purchase it and then resell it as is but some issues came up some additional costs uh, to where it would make more sense for us to do a fix and flip so we're trying to get the numbers right now they're really tight but we're trying to get the um, the rehab numbers down so that we can do this one but let me just show you some issues that i know will be a problem so even before we get on the inside and i've done a, uh, a house in this area before and I know that when you have large trees like this, uh, issues with the sewer line, with roots from the trees growing into the sewer line, uh, that could definitely be an issue. But luckily there's not too much distance from the, uh, the house to the street. So if we have to replace the sewer line, it may not cost as much as my last rehab project. All this tall grass is causing mosquitoes. I haven't been on the inside of this one before, guys. Me and a partner are doing this one, and he's the one that's originally done the inside. Speaking on that sewer line too, guys, from the other project that I had in this area, I'll post a video of what a sewer line looks like when roots start to grow into the sewer. But especially in this area where the houses, they're a bit older, so they use concrete sewer lines. And over time, just, you know, those roofs, they get all into the system. All right, so let me zoom out, turn on a light. So this is a, a pretty small house. We definitely have some flooring issues. This is sitting on a crawl space. Looks like some water damage issues. This is only a two bed, two bed, one bath house. Definitely needs some work, a bit more than what I was expecting uh, from when I first saw the pictures. But it is small, so hopefully it wouldn't take too long to get right. But again, this one, um, it's in escrow. We are just waiting to make sure that we can get our numbers right. All right, are we back now? Well, I'm back now. Alicia has been out and about all day. I'm cutting the video kind of short. I thought I was gonna get a chance. Man, my hair, it just be doing what it wanna do right now. It's the beauty of it. It is. 
going through the lock, the lock stages. But I thought I was gonna get a chance to go through our new pickup, the uh, higher dollar deal that we're doing. It's being vacated right now. Tennis, they're not quite out. So I'll probably be getting a, a walkthrough of that one tomorrow just to kind of show you guys what we're dealing with. Planning to meet my interior designer so I can start to level up these rehabs and just, you know, get, get better with them and got some other stuff going on also. More than likely, we'll be dropping a video with that one tomorrow. We are still trying to pursue a million dollar deal and she's forcing herself to level up because she is getting educated on it by her luxury team, all of this just within her brokerage. I'm excited for you, what, what, what have you, I feel like you, you probably learned a lot about this just trying to figure out the deal, but like what have you learned so far? This is pushing me way out of my comfort zone for one. So. Like this you know, is a bigger property. There are more things I have to pay attention to detail about and stuff like that. I am uh, currently, I, I got some feedback on it, but I'm looking forward to a, a little more detailed feedback. So I'm waiting on that um, from somebody from the luxury committee. I'm just, I'm interested to just jump right in. So it's, it's, just, it's just been up from here. It's, it's challenged, it's, you know, it's challenging all of my knowledge and bringing me outside of the comfort zone. And you know, I'm, I'm just here for it. I'm, I'm embracing it. And I'm excited. And I got a lot of help, you know, it's, yeah. everybody is just so, you know, giving and helping with their resources where I am. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm having an issue. I need help. And sure, let's sit down and talk about it, you know? And that's, that's yeah. God, it's so much. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. The one that you got now, so mm -hmm. we, we didn't really talk about this on camera, but Alicia lost a pretty high dollar deal, but then she got it right back the next day. All, the, all I found out though, that it took was just a little bit of coaching. Mm. You know, for me and my buyer. And you know, we were able to uh, pick up like right where we left off. The agent didn't bother putting back on the market, letting anybody Nothing. know. He just let us, hey, all right, look, we would be disappointed before you walk away, but y'all just, you talk about it, get back to them. And we did it. Good deal. Picked up where we left off, so that's good. Yeah, man, so things moving along with us. We've been pretty busy the last, pretty busy the last few days. Um, and we, yeah, but be in a, a great way. So we're going to end the video there for right now. Until tomorrow, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Peace.